Hello everyone, Reza here and welcome to my channel. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we are going to talk about decals and how to use them correctly inside Unreal Engine. Without any further ado, let's get started. Now let's talk about what decals are because we need to know the nature of decals before we start making them in Unreal Engine. Decals are a material type. So you work with the material editor to use them and to incorporate them in your level. They're used to make localized modification to a scene by projecting the material and its components, such as base color, roughness, or even normals, onto your geometry within a level. This technique allows for direct projection of materials onto your static or even skeletal mesh using decal actors. So decal actors is the one that shows up in your outliner, but the actual content of that decal actor is going to be created through materials. Also, before we dive right in, let's talk about the decal texture itself. The first one is make sure that your decal has alpha channel. So I will be using this one right here and it has alpha channel that I manually added in Photoshop. I personally would like to have a sort of confined environment for my decal, whether it's a crack or a graffiti like this one or water leaks. I would like to have some sort of a confined type of texture. But if you would like to cover the entire wall, make sure it's seamless and loopable. With that, you're not going to limit yourself when you apply that to your mesh, to your static mesh within your level. All right, with those two out of the way, uh, let's start with the scene. The first thing that I would like to do is to import my content. So I am going to select the components from the other monitor and I'm going to bring those in. I've created another one right here. Um, I can easily show you what I have. So this is another one I prepared for a particular purpose, which I will talk about very soon. But for now, let's start with a, just a simple material. I'm going to go into material, master material, decals, and any type of decal that you would like to create. If you want to create a collage or you want to stack them on top of each other, you make them right out of this one. We talked about material instances in our Unreal Engine playlist. So material, MI decals, skull, is the one that I particularly going to use for this particular one. And you can see R, G, B, and I also have alpha. All right, let's dive right in into master material and see what parameters we need to change to make it decals friendly, so to speak. The first change you need to make is within the domain because right now this material gets applied to a surface, looks into UV coordinates, and it doesn't have any projection capabilities. To do that, you go from surfaced into deferred decal. And this is specifically made so you can project your base color, roughness, or normal into any type of mesh. But you may say, hang on a second, Reza, if I zoom in, the base color is off and all I have is world position. And that leads me to the second change that you need to make in the parameters. And that is the blend mode. The blend mode by default is set to opaque. You have to set that to translucent. And then you get all the channels that you need, including base color, material, specularity, roughness, and opacity. From this point, we are good to go. But again, we created a material instance when we constantly need to think about as soon as we create a node, let's parameterize it so we can recycle it in our material instance. 
So I'm going to go in here and bring in my texture sample. I would like to have control over its intensity and every time we deal with intensity we deal with a multiplier so I'm going to connect that into my base color holding down one on my keyboard single left click to create the intensity and bring that and connect that to channel B now we need to parameterize the texture sample because you may want to swap your texture in the near future and I would like to parameterize this value also because that's the intensity of my base color that's easy we already covered that so I'm going to convert into parameter I'm going to call that base color and parameterize this one convert to parameter and I'm going to call that base color intensity I'm going to set the intensity default to 1 and you can give it a min and max so you don't go minus or you don't go crazy number and wash out your decal so something like 0.2 to 2 should be a good range now I am going to save and let's bring in the second one and the second one is also uh, going to add value to what we have I'm going to use the same structure but in this one I'm going to rename my instance to roughness intensity since this is a black and white I really don't need to apply RGB just channel R will do so connect that into roughness again the roughness uh, set to 1 is uh, going to perhaps work for us we don't know we are, we are going to apply this to see how it looks and we take it from there so this is all good ready to go I am going to parameterize this one as well so I'm going to call that roughness and take it from there feel free to add decal group so I'm going to put that into decal attributes and all of them will go under this rollout instead of just a generic one cool I'm going to save and now instead of dragging and dropping the master I'm going to drag and drop this guy right here skull and as soon as I drag and drop you can see it actually projects itself on to my scene this icon here is decal actor but that's usually the type of a look that you get with your decal once you bring it in any static mesh that you have within this bounding box the decal will project on that so kind of be careful about if your subject is actually within this bounding or volume range because if it's not you're not going to get that projection I might actually go ahead and sort of change that ever so slightly bring this one out and I am going to rotate it because that's usually the strange look that you're usually getting is due to that I can press F and you can see the projection is happening beautifully now there is one issue though and you may say Reza hang on a second um, the image that you showed us if I bring up the image has got opacity but this one actually shows the whole thing with artifacts here and there and that's probably a good time to use the alpha channel into opacity and save and that should fix the issue the beauty of decal is it actually respects what you get um, as normal on the existing material as you can see I'm getting that quite beautifully and now if I go and bring up the material instance I can easily go and play around with textures the texture intensity roughness and roughness in intensity so if I feel like I want to have a slightly different roughness intensity I can easily lower this down and get a, a desired look so this one is almost with no 
um, roughness on particular areas and it's pretty shiny on some other areas whereas you can increase that to something like two or five and have that matte looking paint that you may want to have so one with specularity on certain areas and maybe five with a matte finish and that's the beauty of having extra attributes in your material instance because that allows you to play around with the effect i can even lower this down ever so slightly maybe 0.3 or 0.5 and get a slightly fainted look on the graffiti so it's not fresh it's not brand new and take it from there so it's pretty straightforward and every time you want to move the graffiti remember you need to select your decal actor i can actually move it out so it allows me to access it and select it easier and kind of move it around so it's pretty simple and very straightforward the way that you play around with decals inside unreal engine and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it now there is going to be a scenario where you have a secondary decal and you would like to bring that in just to demonstrate that if i go ahead and out of this mm decal let's create another one and i'm going to call that material instance mi and nice try which is the second decal that i would like to bring and i'm going to double click on that one and i'm going to go to decal attribute select the base color and try nice try now if i save that and bring the second decal into the mix and this one right here I'm going to scale that move it to a position and of course i'm going to rotate it now you can see that if i now bring this new one here it actually puts itself on top of the existing decal so i can go in there and modify it change it rotate it scale it but anything that i do it happens on top of the other one i can fade that in by overlapping the boundaries uh, in relation to the surface of my material so i can ever so slightly touch the bottom boundary to the surface to get that blended look and well that's a, a different type of look that you may want to look for but if i actually go all in that is going to go on top of the existing one but what if you would like to reprioritize what if you would like to have the skull on top of the second decal that's where the sort order comes to play and you don't find it in the materials you actually find it in the decal and in its details panel so you can see if i go in here you have sort order which is set to zero and you've got the mi decal skull sort order which is also set to zero all i need to do if i want to bring the skull to the front is to give this a higher sort order and it's going to prioritize it over the second one so with this one i'm going to have that sort order to one and you can see we're swapping the order now this decal is going to be on the top all right that should do it for this quick tutorial i hope you found it useful and use these techniques in your project until the next one see you guys later